All right, so we are heading to a new construction home. Um, it has many splits on the outside, and I'll show you guys. They're kind of stacked on top of each other. Of course, I got to work on the top one. And then they have air handlers on the inside. It's a ducted mini split um, through by Samsung. But uh, we're going to go out. I got to recover all the refrigerant. I got to do a pressure test and a vacuum just to make sure there's no leak. If someone thinks there's a leak, but someone also thinks that we didn't add charge to this line set because it's like a 65 foot line set or something insane. So I got to go through the steps uh, to be sure there's nothing leaking. And of course it's like fog, misty, rainy this morning. So I got to do all this under the worst conditions. Just uh, opening the system and doing all this and our moisture is just a pain in the butt a lot of times. But you can still get it done. I'm on my way to do that. But I thought I'd also chime in and say it's getting closer. We're getting real close to the new refrigerant A2L. Uh, some people are already starting to swap over to that. So as a technician, you need to start getting in the habit before you add refrigerant to double check those uh, those stickers on the condensing units and make sure it's taking 410A. We haven't had any issues yet, but I can see it happening because it happened when they all swapped over to R22 to 410. People were just grabbing the wrong refrigerant and not even looking at the labels. So just be sure as a service technician, you're already putting yourself in that habit of looking at that label and making sure it's what refrigerant it's taking. Um, if you don't do that, you might make a mistake. So it's always good just to in the habit of looking, taking pictures, looking at everything, reading everything before you do any work on it. But I'm heading over here now. I know these are 410 units. Um, and we are uh, seeing if there's a leak. I don't think being a new construction is on a leak. I just think they, they just didn't add for the line set. So we'll find out. This house is absolutely huge. Now we gotta go around and find the condensing units and get, um, see what we're working with. There's multiple issues here. So today I'm addressing one and then we're gonna make a list and try to knock it all out. But I gotta find where the units are right there. Top, the top one, that one right there, we'll be working on. So here's, <laughs> I had to use this to join two hoses together because it's way up there and I don't have a long enough hose and I got it stretched out just going into my recovery tank I don't have on yet and so that I always pull a clean new vacuum so most sometimes it pulls the whole thing and I got a scale to see how much was in there when I pull it all out but uh now we're just in the recovery stage She's on and she's recovering. It's pretty quick. It's already down to that. Alright. Now we are adding nitrogen. Blow it up as high as I can go. And then we're gonna check the flare fittings, the soap and bubbles out here. And then if it's leaking upstairs, it's a really high attic. So I'm trying to avoid climbing up there if I have to. So we're just gonna monitor and see if there's a leak. If it looks real slow, we'll pull a vacuum and see what happens. So I forgot to document it, but I think my arrival time was 9.45. Walked around the home with the homeowner for a little while. And then I started doing this. We were setting at 3.10. For two minutes so far I, I recovered about four see if it saved it Did not document it say like 4.47 I think we gotta turn this back on down here so yeah 
4.48, four and a half, you might as well say. Uh, we saved that much refrigerant. But we recovered out of it and it was in the negative. So the charge is a uh, 5.7, I think. If you guys can see it there. Where's it at? Right there, 5.73 is the charge. So we're about a pound, pound low. Almost a pound and a half low. So we're gonna let that sit. And I have it closed off at the valve, so this hose, if there's any gasket leaks, there might be gasket leaks. The hose to there is holding pressure. And then we'll pull a vacuum. I'm gonna set the vacuum on the T I added up there and pull pull a vacuum on the suction side on both sides, but I'll put the T on the the vacuum gauge on the suction side. Right up here. So we can see I like to put it on the suction side because it's a bigger line, so it takes a little longer to get down to vacuum than the smaller one. But so far we're looking good. All right, so it held fine for over 30 minutes. Now we're going to pull a vacuum. Micron gauge. So that on the bucket to the breach. We got the vacuum going. It's going to take a while. This is taking way longer than expected. 11, 18. It's just, this is why I don't like using regular hoses on vacuums. It's taking a long time to come down. Time check, 11.37. I forgot to completely record the vacuum. Right now we are adding refrigerant. I'm adding new refrigerant. Five point seven three pounds. So I googled the line set on the install, and Google tells you something completely wrong. This one right here tells me it's a three zero three zero B. It's telling me point three two three ounce per foot over twenty four point six feet, and we're at eighty five foot line set. So we're looking at about nineteen ounces. So I'm gonna add pound three ounces and see what our pressures are at. Here we're right at seven pounds of refrigerant. And then here's the, uh, it's running, it's going down right now. We'll check it here in just a bit. It's about 68 degrees inside right now. So we'll see. What's up? I just realized I left that house and didn't tell you guys what's going on. But brand new uh, house, brand, brand new systems. They did a good job installing them. I think it might have came from the manufacturer low in charge because I pulled out 4.48 pounds. It calls for 5.73, but the book says 0.343 for every foot a line set on the line set and uh, we're at 80 foot line set and you have to subtract 25 from that or it's like 85 foot line set 25 from that you get like 60 so 60 foot that's like a pound and three ounces or something around that area but um i weighed i pressure tested pulled a vacuum weighed everything back in and everything seems to be fine i wrote all my info down so if there is an issue in the future, we know that the proper procedure is done um, and we need to look and investigate further on. But I, after pressure testing and holding for 30 minutes on that 300 PSI, I don't think it's leaking. Um, a vacuum pulled down. It took a while because of the small hoses, but it pulled down pretty good. So I think I think it's fine. Maybe from the manufacturer it was low, and then we 
he didn't add for the line set. Not sure, but he's having another issue in the living room unit. There's four of those units at that house. Uh, the living room's having similar issues. It's not reaching 70 degrees. So, I, uh, I rescheduled that for tomorrow. I'll see if I can get do the same thing. I'm, another tech in might mile, end up having to do it. But because it's, they're trying to send the installer construction crew back to fix the issues. But I, I kind of wanted to go back so I can do it the way I did it this time around. I think removing refrigerant weighing it kind of helps in your mental mind of what's going on with the system. Because if you just recovered it and didn't weigh it and then did all that and then added refrigerant back in, you're probably wondering to yourself, like, the whole time, where could it be leaking when it's not leaking? So... That's where we're leaving that one at, and now we're on. on to the next one. It's a pretty cloudy day, so we're not getting a lot of calls to come in. So the next one, I am headed over to do a gas and go till we get the system replaced, and then after that, I'm not sure. I got stuff not strapped down to the back and it's falling everywhere. But uh, let's see. We're heading back to the shop right now.